my channel if you're new welcome queens and kings i'm aj today we are discussing hair porosity yes y'all we are learning about our hair what is porosity we know it's important we know it's something that we need to know about we should know about it but what exactly is it simply put hair porosity is how well your hair absorbs moisture your hair's porosity can be classified in three different ways low porosity medium porosity and high porosity so with low porosity hair your hair's cuticle is all the way closed this makes it very difficult for any moisture to get in and it also makes it very difficult for any moisture to escape with medium porosity hair the cuticle is slightly raised so it does allow moisture in and it makes it difficult for moisture to escape and then lastly you have high porosity hair the cuticle is completely open moisture is very easily let in but it's also very easy to let out so I like to think of it like blinds basically like blinds on your window right so when the blinds are all the way closed no light is getting into your house and no light from your house is getting outside when you raise them like medium then it's kind of like an even exchange and when they're all the way open just like like all the light from outside can get in and any light from outside any light from inside can get outside if that makes any sense that is the way that um your hair cuticle works basically like mini blinds on each strand of hair so why is it important to know your hair's porosity the biggest reason why you need to know your hair's porosity is because of product your hair's porosity will tell you what kind of product is okay to put in your hair how much product is okay to put in your hair and how often to put that product in your hair for example i have high porosity hair so let's say you come to one of my videos on how to moisturize my hair and i'm like i moisturize every single day so now you're like cool me and aj we have the same type of hair it seems like seems like we have the same curl pattern seems like our density is the same so this should work so you start to moisturize your hair every single day and you find that your hair is just way down it's oily it's greasy it's just completely not working for you and you are wondering why it is because we have different hair porosities this is one of the reasons why it is so important to really just learn your hair inside it out and not just the stereotypical hair typing chart 3b 3c 4a that may be able to let you in on what your curl pattern is and that's that's kind of just it no matter how much your hair may look like somebody else's beneath the surface it can be completely and totally different so how do you know how do you know what porosity your hair is well if you have low porosity hair it'll be quite obvious it is very very difficult for moisture to penetrate so this may mean that um, when you get your hair wet before you shampoo it like you really have to spend some time soaking your hair with water before you start to feel the weight of your hair like before your the water actually starts to get into the shaft of your hair and weigh your hair down you really 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 have to spend some time in that water because the hair is so hard to penetrate a lot of times water just sits on top and you can literally see water beads on your hair like actual beads of water on your hair same thing with product like if you overuse product you will see the product just sitting on your hair is really 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 easy um for you to get build up if you have a low porosity hair because it's hard for again that moisture to penetrate the shaft of the hair so too much product will just sit on top of the hair um it'll cause a film it'll cause a build up a lot of time you can see maybe um like a, a white residue if your hair is low porosity if you have low porosity hair, you really want to be careful to use thinner products, a lot of water-based products, and you don't want to use too much product. A lot of times we will equate low porosity hair with very, very, very healthy hair. And a lot of times that is true. That's not to say that high porosity hair is unhealthy, but um, a lot of times low porosity hair the cuticle is so tightly closed because nothing has been done to it it hasn't been over processed a lot of heat hasn't been used it's just the cuticle is just really um compact almost just like a new strand of hair how your hair first comes out of your hair is brand new you have barely touched it it's perfectly intact um that is a good way to think of low porosity hair so although it can be a little bit bothersome for people who have it it is a beautiful picture of healthy hair 
High porosity hair is literally just the opposite of everything that I said to describe low porosity hair. Your hair soaks up water fast. I mean, you get in the water a couple seconds and your hair is drenched. It's soaking wet. Like, it, it takes that, that in your hair. Your hair is soaked and weighed down by this water. High porosity hair also dries very fast because the cuticle is so open, air just flows freely through the hair, allowing it to dry faster. If you have high porosity hair, you will find that you need to moisturize often. When you moisturize, your hair will feel good. It will feel great. It will be amazing. And a couple days later, you might be like, what just happened? Because I am sure I oversaturated my hair with moisturizers, what's going on? And that's just because um, the moisture just does not stay for a long time. So if you have high porosity hair, you will find yourself moisturizing again and often. The thing that drove me into really researching porosity for myself and my hair is I had red hair before this. And yes, I know that red is the fastest fading color period but my red was fading so fast y'all like so fast so 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 fast and i'm like wait no 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 no. this is not right this is not okay what is going on and i basically just found out that my hair is very porous i have high porosity hair so if you have i don't know medium porosity hair and you have to retouch your hair color every two months i was needing to retouch my like every two weeks um so and at the time i did not know what was going on it was my first time being red and i heard everybody like oh well red just fades fast it just fades fast it just fades fast but it was like mm. No, it's like super, super fast for me. So people who you see changing their color, like their hair color week by week, and they could just put these colors in, a lot of times they have high porosity hair because although it is very easy for them to get these very bright pigmented colors, they're faded in a couple of weeks because high porosity. And then medium porosity is the unicorn. We all want medium porosity hair. You don't have to overdo it on products. Um, it's, it's a very even, like it really is just kind of like high porosity, low porosity. You don't really have too many problems when you have medium porosity hair. Also keep in mind that hair porosity can change. So the lowest porosity that your hair is ever going to be is when it comes straight out of your scalp. That is low porosity. Your hair closest to your scalp is low porosity. Now, if you go ahead and let that grow out and then in a year you decide to bleach that, that now low porosity hair may become medium porosity hair because the cuticles had to open up a little bit to let that bleach in. Going back a little bit to what I said earlier, that high porosity hair does not mean not healthy hair and it does not mean damaged hair. However, a lot of people will equate it because high porosity hair tends to come with over bleaching, um, using um, hot product straighteners, uh, blow dryers on high heat the cuticle of your hair has to open up in order to receive these things. So the more that you do this, the more it opens up your cuticle and so it tends to weaken your hair a lot. Um, people who have overly bleached, y'all, have y'all watched hair fills? Like I love watching hair fills, I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh at people's misery, but I love watching hair fails it was like crazy to see like on these shows these channels these hair fails one of the biggest ways that somebody can tell that they have over bleached is they'll bleach and bleach and bleach and try to apply like a toner on top of it and the toner will not take the cuticle is blown out it's just open like nothing will stick to it so you can have high porosity hair and your hair not be damaged um but i also don't think that it's like the the perfect picture of health either um and if your hair is color treated bleached 
and you find that your porosity is starting to become higher, that is a really, really good indicator that you want to lay off the bleach for a while, lay off the heat for a while, and just let your hair be because you never want to get to the point where your hair cannot retain anything, any moisture, any color, any anything. If that's the case, I'm just going to be real. You might as well just go ahead and start over. So your hair porosity um, is a nice gauge of your hair's health, in my opinion. Yes, it's very, very important. Like, we have to get to know our hair. I am so happy that we are in such a natural hair movement right now and that everybody is really learning and embracing their hair. Uh, but it's not enough to just wear a fro or, or locks and say, you know, mm. <laughs> like, in order to get healthy hair, maintain healthy hair, um, for our hair to grow long, you know, we really have to understand our hair. We really have to um, put a little bit of work in. So know your hair's density. Know your hair's porosity. Do you have fine strands with the, with a lot of density? Like really, really find out um, your hair. That's the way that you can stop being a product junkie. Like you... Tell the truth, you have 15 different products that all claim to do the same thing, but why isn't it working for you? Because it's not for your hair. So you have to really, really learn your hair so it can thrive, okay? We picking up all of these lessons in 2020 so that our hair can thrive in 2021. That's what we are doing. When did you find out your hair is porosity? Do you, you know? Are you still figuring it out? Let me know in the comments below. You know, blah, 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 blah. Let me know in the comments below. Share this video, y'all, because sharing is caring. And I will see y'all in the next one. Till then, be bold, be empowered, be beautiful.